Right, uh, so instruments, uh, a couple of things. Uh, the boat, when I had it, had a couple of holes in it uh, on the bulkhead where the, there was originally some old analog four-inch instruments mounted. And there was just holes, and they were covered up by a piece of, uh, a piece of plywood, really. And so I, I took that off and tried to figure out what to put back in their place. And uh, first of all, the four-inch instruments uh, didn't seem like they were going to make it. Uh, so what I did is, I first of all, I mounted a, 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 uh, an Autohelm Seatalk uh, uh, ST50 depth uh, below the holes. And to fill in the holes, uh, what I did first of all is I got some starboard, because I think that's probably the best material to use in terms of water resistance. Uh, and drilled out uh, or cut them to four inch diameters and uh, stuck them in the holes. Now the trick is, is some, a lot of people know, is uh, epoxy and starboard is supposedly almost impossible. Uh, but 3M makes some miracle epoxy called Scotchweld uh, 8005. It comes in these little tubes. It's almost unobtainium. It's expensive as crap. Uh, this little tube costs $25. Uh, and the gun that you're supposed to use to shoot this out cost almost as much. So you're looking at 50 bucks before you can start. Um, I didn't buy the gun because I figured I was going to use it all. And so if I just squirted it all out of both of them with a, with a screwdriver and mixed it, because it's a 10 to 1, I would be good. The, the trick to it is that the set time on this stuff is like three minutes. So you've got like 30 seconds to stir the stuff up and then go to town line those holes and get those get the blocks in there so so that worked out well they're really tight i was i was banging on them earlier on and it's it's not going anywhere uh what i'm going to do in place of that is i'm going to lay in a big uh chart plotter this, this is a magellan uh, fx uh, 324 uh, map, uh, color map i used to work for magellan i ran the product planning group so i've got all the charting for this and uh, if this ever goes bad i've got a spare so we're, we, we're, we're all good here and this will sit right above uh, the depth instrument. So if you think about where this cover is, this is going to sit right there. And I'll have to plug in those holes, but I think that'll be, I think that's going to look just fine. So uh, we'll do that. We'll get that wired in from the backside, and then I'm going to paint the backside of that panel. So uh, hopefully all that will look good. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, and I'll probably do another video and take a couple of pictures after I put the template up and uh, cut out that hole.